what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello fellow chibis, this is Getting Fire Through, it's more Hato Full Boyfriend. Hopefully you can hear me better now compared to the last video because I remembered to turn down the volume. Today is the hike! We've stopped for a break on Hillside, who should I talk to? Talk to... I want to talk to someone. Of course Ryuda. Aren't we friends in this game or something? Ryuda, let's eat together! Sure, great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, Scott? Yep, it's a calorie me. That's a... That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said it's the ambrosia of the gods. Out of curiosity for the word ambrosia, I looked it up. But, of course, the answer, how they used it was very weird. Let me show you. Ambrosia is the food of the gods, or something very pleasing to taste or smell, or a fungal product used as food by ambrosia beetles. None of that lines up well with how they said it. And ambrosia, basically, they said the food of the gods of the gods. Jeez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryuda. And so I got to eat half of Ryuda's lunch. This cooking is so good. We can save the calor calorie me in case of a survival situation. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I looked up what it actually said. I thought originally it was calorie Mari while editing this, but I looked up calorie Mari and instead what came up was calorie mate. So, I think they weren't, like, had anything to do with Calorie Mate, so they bleeped that out, like, censored it, so it would, wouldn't show up and wouldn't give them free press, you know what I mean? Today's an elective day, what should I do? T oh, another elective day, um, well, I did music class before, so I guess I'll do the... Uh, which one's worse? Okay, math class is pretty bad, but gym is definitely the worst. Worst. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm. Maybe you should review the basics a little more, Conley. E yes, sir. What was that? Scott leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Of course. This game levels you up for some reason. Er, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the culture of festival, so it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryuda? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. Koo! Ogusan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Oko-san. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words, very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryuta's doing the three-legged race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Sakuya's a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Oh no, I wanted to... Today's the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Uh, first aid tent. Salutations! Did you come to gaze into my eyes, Monwi? I, I, I can't fucking do it. I, I can't do a French accent. Um, I heard the first aid tent uh, team was shorthanded. Salutations? Alas, a spurn for the sake of medicine. I must work harder to prove my love. Anyway, we're happy to have you. As you can see, 
We have. Oh wait, no. We have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birds. Why is a game designed for humans? Beyond me, Monami. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. I I don't know how to do French accent. I'm trying. He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion. Working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? I'm just gonna stop. A lot of birds graduating from the school get scattered by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Uh oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, Monami. Yes, sir. And so I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was time well spent, uh, I think. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Conley. Yes? You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. <laughs> yes! I didn't want to do yay because the yes sounded better. With the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. That smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. How oh yeah. I was about to ask how do you know that, but then I realized you're in a school mostly made out of only pigeons. Huh? huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Scott. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pin board. It says Brian the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was one, the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh, lunch is nearly over. Oh, do oh, Scott. Mmm, today's a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Go. Store, infirmary, store. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though, these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Monami. Planning to settle down already? Yuya! No, 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 that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Bird condoms. <laughs> Why else would he bring up bird sex? He's clearly getting bird condoms. Your love, of course. My... You, yeah, that's... We're not... I'm not good enough? Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? Uh... I'll let it slide. It's not like it's surprising coming from him. He's French. The language of love. Now I have to do the last class that I haven't done yet, and then I'll do all the other stuff. Today is calisthenics. Ryuta, you're in high school and you still can't do a chin up? So don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. Level up. Buffness increased. I think. Yeah, vitality increased by five. Well, I already have a lot of vitality. 
Today is Tenabata, whatever that is. Tenabata is a Japanese star festival originating from the Chinese Quixi Festival. It, it celebrates the meaning of the deities Urheim and Higoboshi. According to legend, the Milky Way celebrates these level, lovers and are only am, allowed to meet once a year on the seventh day of the seventh lunar month of whatever. You know, you get the idea. It's a star festival. Tenabata, whatever that is. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think it'll go make a wish. I don't know what it is. Whoa, there are lots here already. Any birdie I know. May mother stay healthy this year and may my stomach get better. Ryuda. Aw. Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monami. Yuya. Aw. These are so cute. Morning conference on the 10th, leave three minute, 30 minutes early by another alarm clock may wake up on Tainanaki. Wednesday is Garber's Day, remember. What should I wish for? What should I wish for? Uh, become a famous artist because the other ones seem too much. I can already feel that people are gonna get annoyed by it. That tapping sound is me just bouncing my leg up and down and uh, like moving my desk a little. Uh, ADHD does that. You get things like that happen to you where you bounce your leg up and down and sometimes it annoys people. I know this one was annoying me when I heard it. Oh, hello. Is that you, Conley? Mr. Nanaki, you should be careful out this light. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? Um... Yes, please. Of course. Yes, please. All right. All right, and it's, I mean, you know, Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very rustic, Connolly. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Today's an elective day again. Now I have to go to music class. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today, whatever that is. Last time it was the gong. I know what a gong is, but what's a timpani? I'm gonna have to look that up. And then I'll post the picture. I, or post the picture. I'll um, edit in the picture. This is a timpani, and I knew what it was, but I didn't remember that this is what it was. So, when I did see the picture, I realized what it was. Oh, it's like the drum, but, uh, ke the kettle drums. Okay. So, the drums, pretty much. What am I supposed to be, the musical gorilla? Basically, I, I'm pretty sure. Charisma? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, so they level up. Okay, I see. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Conley! Sir? Well done, you've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I should help clean up the club room club room, and check the summer schedule before I go home. To the track club. Munch, munch, munch. It's not even spelled right. Okasan looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is... Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans. Munch, munch. It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance of limbenses and is eating them all at once. He certainly seems happy about it. What should I do? Yeah, what should I do? Join in. I'm gonna join in. Those look pretty good. Munch, munch, yum. And so we devoured two months worth of dietary supplements in one day. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter gatherer's body is her way of life. So maybe I'll go running today. What the hell? I'm confused. Ah, oh, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Wh where am I? 
I must have wandered out of my usual summing ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't film in now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you! Huh? I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It looks like a little... It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pleasure. I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's where my legs hurt. Ah, uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm, I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home, come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you, um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Then thank you, Azami, or whatever. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. Once accident, one accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far-off look in her eyes as we crash. Nah. But it would be it, it would be fucked up if like looked off in the distance driving and then crash, and only you survive because you're huge. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for sco scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is, in, is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two, one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird, and so we put it, put it. I don't know. Putted along at a zombie's hyper cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part time job since I have the chance. I'll get a job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? It's, it's beautiful in here. Oh my! Pardon me, miss, but we're not open yet. I, I want that as a pet. That is the cutest fucking bird. If you could come back at new... Oh, sorry, I was here to ask about the job. The proprietor of the cafe is an extremely elegant parakeet. Parakeet, not keek. A uh, true gentle bird without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I'm called Yura, Yura Shahara Kenzaburu, Burrow or whatever. I am the owner of Tarimi Cafe. I'm Conley Scott. Welcome, Miss Scott. I haven't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I do not see any need to test such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here, and I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. Uh, after all, I am a vitality girl. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, I'm not looking that up. Uh, I'll just save it for the editing process. You heard a look past me. Uh, the thing is, Vitality girl is not a thing that people say apparently which makes a lot of sense because this game just makes no sense I shall be relying on you for this summer then miss Scott It is perhaps a little sudden, but could you start tomorrow? Of course. I am. I am glad I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. I'm gonna make her uh, Tomorrow then miss Scott. I'm gonna make her a bird that would seem perfect Today is my first day working at Mr. Urushihara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. Good morning, Miss Scott. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. 
I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe explaining everything inside. The shop is small and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice, I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my ha- Excuse me. Um, I saw the flyer at the station and- Ryuta? Scott? W what are you doing here? A friend of yours, Miss Scott- or No, a friend of yours, Miss Scott. Oh, yes, this is Ryuta. You came for the job too, Ryuta? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's that. Um, Mr. Arushihara, could you use two people? Hmm. Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should do the job I was hired for. Um, I'm sorry, Ryuta, but I really want to do this. Don't worry about it, Scott. I've got a couple more places to check. Perhaps some other time. I will be here if you are looking for something later on. I'll keep that in mind, sir. Have fun, Scott. Almost opening time. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm not about to mess up after taking the job from Ryuta. I wonder who the first customer of my life will be. Y'all got a new girl, a human, a budget rig. Here's how you actually say it. Uh, it's Bajragar, and I had no fucking clue until I looked it up. Gar steps in the door. The first customer of my life, a young man who doesn't quite suit the atmosphere of the cafe. I was hoping for somebody who'd raise a few more flags, maybe a white peacock. Welcome, would you like a bath or a meal? Or maybe you'd like Mr. Arushihara. I'll, I'll take Kenzabaru. Hey, wait just a minute now. Yes, a perfect delayed reaction. Oh, hello, Rabu. This is Rabu, Miss Scott. A regular customer. I'm s I am something of an important figure here. See this card? 206 stamps. Amazing. Is he a cafe addict? Hey, what was with that when I came in? I've wanted to provoke that reaction out of someone with a Kenzei accent since I was a little girl. My interpretation of it was wrong. I will link down and well, no, you can look up how to do a Kenzei accent in it's a Japanese dialect pretty much. So just look up how to do a Kanzai accent and you'll find a lot of videos for it. Thank you, Mr. Rabu. Thanks to you, my dream has come true and I can die happy. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. Well, that's how it is. Scott, right? That seat there is my private property. Y'all remember that now. An, a new encounter in the little birdcage. Today is a good day. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. Please sit down, both of you. And so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? I stayed out on the town for too long and it's too late. On my own, of course. Riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about. Hey, human. What? I some, suddenly I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. You go to St. Pigeonations, don't you? I bet a rich girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Rich little girl going to a fancy school thinks she's so great. <laughs> yeah. Darn it, I, I can't tell them apart. I can pick Ryuta out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock doves I've just met all look the same. Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash. They buff up their chest threateningly. 
dumb punks kick <laughs> like just just punt them they're small you, you're bigger than them picking on girls in the park is a good way to get ostracized for life don't know what that means leaving it for the editing process ostracized to exclude someone from a society or group or in ancient greece banish an unpopular or too powerful citizen from a city for five or ten years by popular vote what what you little they're angry now my hunter gather instincts can feel a fight coming Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? Yes, you can because you're a human and they're birds. S Slam! Huh? The work of a moment. Somebody f flits forward and in the blink of an eye, the doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Azami? That was close, Scott. Are you sure you should be out this late? What the f... Who are you? Me? Well, I'm a passing taco yaki lady. I have to I have to look that up too, but editing process. Takoyaki or octopus balls is a ball-shaped Japanese snack made of wheat flour-based batter and cooked in a special molded pan. It is typically filled with minced or diced octopus, tempura scraps, pickled ginger, and green onion. Now you know it's food. The dove collapses before the might of a zombie's magnificent kick. S -s Sorry, Azami, I let my guard down. Easy for a kid to do. Life lesson. Always be prepared. Speak softly and drive a Sherman tank. She's so cool, I think I'm in love. Um, Azami, I'm working at a cafe near here over the summer. Could I treat you to something sometime as thanks? Is that part of your credo, kid? Goodbye, me. Azami takes the proffered flyer. Proffer. A verb. Hold out something to someone for acceptance or an offer. So, yeah, it was an offer, pretty much. I had no idea. Mounts her trusty scooter and puts off into the darkness. A heroic entrance and a cool exit. I hope I can be like her when I grow up. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite... You know who I'm gonna invite. Ryuta. Why the fuck not? Thanks for inviting me, Scott. Come on, let's go. So many boots. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter-gatherer instinct, Scott. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. What? No fair. I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. Hmm. Yakitori sounds good right about now. Don't know what that is. Of course, editing process. Yakitori is a Japanese type of skewered pork or chicken. It looks good. Don't know if I'd eat it, though. If you like this video... Leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more or what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor.